Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey and in today's video we're going to be working on this dust effect here. Now we have done something like this before but we were using sprites and objects where this time we're actually going to use a particle system and this particle system allows us to do the normal dust as well as if we fall from a high area it will also produce different dust. So let's download the project found in the description below and let's get started. <laughs> And when we download the project, we'll have something like this where we have an original character and a finished character. Now this character isn't actually finished, but I'm gonna separate the two. So we have a create, we have a step and a draw event, and I'm not gonna go into each one, but basically in the create event, we're gonna to need to instantiate a particle system that follows our player around. Now we'll also be using the particle system that I created, and you can see we've already imported, and the link will be in the description below. So to get started, in the create event of the character, let's go down here to the bottom and let's actually create some particles. So we're going to instantiate the particle system using a instance create depth at the X and Y location of our player and then the current depth and then just instantiate that character class. The next thing I wanna do is actually set the depth of my particle system just to underneath my player. So I will use my player's depth plus one which will put it just on the layer below. Now I have downloaded some sprites and you can find them in the notes and we're gonna be using this SPR particle dust. So let's assign the sprite to our actual dust system here. So we're gonna assign a particle dust sprite. We're gonna have it animate it. It's gonna stretch over time, meaning that if our particle takes 10 frames, the animation is gonna take 10 frames. And no, we don't wanna choose a random frame for it to start on. Now I wanna set the colors a mix between white and light gray. So I will use a set color mix on the particle effect. The next thing we'll do is set up the alpha and we'll also set up the size of each particle. Now the size, keep in mind that if I go into my sprite here, our size is 16 by 16. So we are going to deduct that size to 0.5 and possibly go up to 16 by 16. Now when my player is running, I wanna set the direction of my particles. Now I'm not gonna be using any left and right for the particles, instead I'm just gonna have them go up. So I'll set my direction and orientation just to be a little bit pointing upwards. Now I'll set the life of each particle between 30 and 90 frames. And last but not least, let's set the actual speed of the particle between one and three, and it will be deducted by 0.5 each frame. Now that we have the particles actually done, let's actually make them follow our character around. So in the finished character, we're gonna add a new event. We're gonna go step, and we can either do begin or end step. I'm gonna do it in the begin step. And in here, all I'm gonna do is set my position to be the character's X position and Y position, plus the sprite height divided by two, which will put it at my character's feet. Now to get the particles to actually appear when our character is walking or running, we can go to the step event and I'm gonna make it only happen when my character runs. So I have a keyboard check here to see if we are pressing the run key. In here, this is where I'm gonna check to see if my character is on the ground. And then I will burst a possible three particles each frame. Now this on ground function, if we go to the create event, you can see all it's doing is returning the place meeting of the X and Y location plus one. So underneath my character checking for the ground. So if we are on the ground, we should be running and then burst those particles. So if I hit F5, my character should be able to walk around. He should still be able to jump. And then when I hold shift, you can see that the particles are happening and we're not getting a lot of frames per second reduction here. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is when my character falls at a high velocity here, I do wanna have a dust cloud come up. So to do this, let's go back to the step event and we'll scroll down until we get to the vertical movement. Before we actually move the character to the ground, let's actually check to see what the speed of the vertical movement is. And I wanna say if the speed of my vertical movement is over 20, then I want to have a dust cloud come up. Now I'm gonna use two helper functions that we're gonna create right now. So back in the create event, let's write a helper function for particle dust, and we want one for landing. And then the next one we want is a particle dust again, and let's have one for reset. In the particle landing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our particle system that we created, and we're gonna change to the direction so it can have a bigger span of dust. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna increase my emitter size. I'm using 48 to the left and 48 to the right, so that will give it a wide range of particles to come up. I'm also gonna change the speed of each particle. So currently it's one to three, so this particle will be five to eight with a little higher reduction. And last but not least, I'm going to burst 32 particles 
particles instead of having a random chance. Now, because we are changing some of these things, we need to take them and we need to copy them below as well in the reset. So we've changed the direction, emitter side, and speed. So let's make sure that we copy the original values in for each one. So the emitter size we haven't changed in the original, but we will set this to zero. And then finally, let's grab the speed. And now the last thing we need to do is call each one of these helper functions. So we'll take our particle dust landing and go to the step event. If our vertical movement is bigger or equal to 20, then we wanna make sure that we call that particle dust. And the final thing that we wanna do is actually reset the particles. So we'll call the particle dust reset. Now if I hit F5, we are using only one particle system and whenever my character is running, he is creating that nice little dust effect. If I come up, you can see the jumping. I don't have anything happening, but if I come over here and I land on the ground, we have a big dust explosion. So hopefully you can see the power of using the particle system here, especially using a wrapper that we have and you can create all kinds of effects. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the video. If you're looking for the full source code to this and other tutorials, check out my Patreon page, where you can get access to everything you see here and much more. A special shout out to the following Patreon users in no particular order. Annie, Paul, Victor, Timothy, Edward, Robert, Thrysite, and Ashby. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and leaving a like.